here in uh, St. Louis and we are about to go ahead and start unstrapping looks like there's two people here in front of me this guy's already loaded this guy's waiting to get unloaded and I assume he's waiting to get unloaded too but I'll catch you back when you ready to all the straps are still tight and uh yeah don't think i forgot to put my trip strap up here i know i didn't film it earlier but i'll let you know it's there let's get this thing uh unstrapped and get it unloaded and reloaded Alright guys, so it's been a little a little bit of a different change in plans than I thought. So here's the load that I picked up. I don't know what's that. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We had quite a bit of a change in uh, uh, well actually I, I misinterpreted what was told to me from dispatch as in earlier in the video I thought I was picking up in Newburgh delivering in St. Louis then reloading out of St. Louis then offloading back in Newburgh to reload to go to Woodburn, Kentucky. I know it's kind of confusing, but I did everything that I said I was going to do. Picked up in Newburgh, delivered in St. Louis, picked up in St. Louis, but it was actually a two-stop, two-stop. So I picked up three coils in St. Louis, then picked up one coil in Newburgh last night and we'll be delivering in Woodburn um, this morning and this afternoon. And it's just rain, rain, and more rain um, all night long. If you're, in, if you're in Kentucky, you know what I'm talking about. It's done that everywhere. Um, but I'm about an hour and 20 minutes out from Woodburn. Um, didn't get shut down till Probably about 20 after 11 central time last night. So, I got a little bit of a late start, 9, 12. Still haven't got my time back. I still got 10 minutes to uh, to get my 10 hour break in. Um, but once I get that break done, I'm gonna pre-trip the truck. We're gonna make our way down to Woodburn, uh, deliver this load be safe and we're going to uh, deadhead home um, which it's about about three hours 
So I should be home probably about, I'd say about 2 o'clock um, today. And I already got my load scheduled for uh, Monday. I'm picking up again in Newburgh. And I'm heading up to Ohio. Um, the reason why I picked that place, that location, is because there's always real good reloads out of there. And I'm trying to uh, get some more revenue on the truck this week. You know, last week, or this week, actually, right now, I was had all those issues with the, with the truck in the shop and just a lot of downtime. Um, still had a decent week. Um, I, think, I think we'll probably do about $4,200 to the truck. Uh, so, not a terrible week, but again, ain't nothing to brag about. But, that's what we're going to do. Turn around there. It's all it's done. Rain, rain, more rain. So, you guys be safe. Um, you guys have a great weekend. And I'll catch you on another video shortly. We are here getting ready to, uh, to drop off the lever. You can see the wind is dripping pretty good. It's a pretty good amount of uh, water. You can see it all the way up there between the trucks. Yeah. This ain't going to be so much fun though going to the house because I'm going to the house empty. So, yeah. I'm uh, not looking to get blown around. But we've checked in. Now we're just waiting our turn. And uh, after we leave out of here, we'll be heading to the house. And I would assume probably, depending on how quick I get through these, this door right here, I got everything unstrapped and all that. So as soon as we get through here, I'd say maybe 45 minutes an hour. Um, hopefully I'll be home by the way it's looking, maybe about five. So. We shall see, we shall see.